We started Smart Transformation five years ago and the idea of it was to help future-proof the communities of Dysart and Moranbar during a time of technological change. This is a global issue and every community globally was really challenged by what they called the sort of fourth industrial revolution. Technology and uh, humans were starting to link up. The way that we react to it is actually the biggest challenge that we've got in this, in this technological change. And it's the culture. It's the culture of countries, it's the culture of states, and it's the culture of communities like the ones that we live in as to how we're best going to manage this change moving forward and access the opportunities that we've got. What we learned was if you actually put people in the centre of this change, you could actually identify opportunities. The approach that we've been using is to say that decisions about a community's future are best made by the community itself, by the people that are in it. So rather than other people telling us what to do, we decide ourselves what our future's going to look like. The purpose of the Youth Advisory Council is to help you get a sense of the opportunities that are available moving forward and how to access them. The whole idea of it is for you to get a better sense of what you could do and what options you might have that you haven't thought about before. Today, you are all going to become futurists in training. Now we're sort of in the fifth industrial revolution and this is a really good space for us collectively because the changes are really focused on values, human values, rather than having um, you know, a connection between humans and the technological change, now we're going to see collaboration. You'll employ uh, technology in your future job opportunities that will assist you to improve your performance. It's all going to be about supporting you, um, supporting uh, humans to do better work. The future depends on what we do in the present. And as much as our future depends on, you know, what we do today, what we do today depends on what we think the future could be. Unlike a lot of coals, the stuff we have in the Bowen Basin is the best we have in the world and it'll be involved in the manufacture of steel for decades to come. The councils have all been fully engaged, I think, in what the mining industry is. They've been fully engaged in what the mining industry has to offer and a lot of them are looking at careers into uh, the future of mining. Well, I feel like I learnt like, a better understanding of like where the future's going. Yes, great experience. 